Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Is matter around us pure? Question number 1. The properties of mixture are underscored from its components. Option A. Similar. Option B. Slightly different. Option C. Entirely different. Option D. Different. The correct answer is Option A. Similar. Components present in mixture show their properties. Thus, mixtures have same properties to that of components. Question number 2. The smell of hydrogen sulfide, HS, gases. Option A. Pleasant. Option B. Rotten eggs. Option C. Of burning sulfur. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Rotten eggs. Hydrogen sulfide HS smells like rotten eggs. Question number 3. Water is a compound because it's Option A. Composition is fixed. Option B. Properties are different from its components. Option C. Components can be separated by chemical methods. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is Option B. Properties are different from its components. Water is compound formed by the reaction of two elements hydrogen and oxygen. Its chemical formula is H2O. Question number 4. Which of the following is a colloid? Option A. Aluminium paint. Option B. Blood. Option C. Milk. Option D. All. The correct answer is Option D. All. Colloid is a mixture in which one substance mixed through other substances that will not mix with other substance completely. Question number 5. Which of the following is a true solution? Option A. Milk. Option B. Chalk powder in water. Option C. Salt solution. Option D. Blood. The correct answer is Option C. Salt solution. Salt solution is a true solution which is a homogeneous mixture of two substances sodium chloride and water which cannot be separated by the method of filtration. Question number 6. Which of the following will show Tyndall effect? Option A. Milk. Option B. Salt solution. Option C. Vinegar. Option D. Sulfur in water. The correct answer is Option A. Milk. Tyndall effect is scattering of light by colloidal particles or particles in suspension. Milk is colloid which can show Tyndall effect. Question number 7. When iron and sulfur are heated at high temperature, Option A. Black colored phase is formed. Option B. Mixture of iron and sulfur is obtained. Option C. Yellow colored iron sulfide is formed. Option D. They do not heat. The correct answer is Option A. Black colored phase is formed. Black colored phase is formed when iron and sulfur are heated at high temperature. Question number 8. The process of separation of insoluble solids from a liquid is called Option A. Filtration Option B. Decantation Option C. Crystallization Option D. Evaporation The correct answer is Option A. Filtration Filtration is the process of separation of insoluble solids from a liquid. Question number 9. The process used to separate oil and water is Option A. Distillation Option B. Sublimation Option C. 
separating funnel option d chromatography the correct answer is option c separating funnel to immiscible liquid oil and water can be separated by using separating funnel question number 10 the size of the colloidal particle is in the range of option a 1 a ring to 100 a ring option b 1 nanometer to 100 nanometers option c 10 to 9 meters to 10 to 6 meters option d 10 to 9 centimeters to 10 to 7 centimeters The correct answer is option C 10 to 9 meters to 10 to 6 meters the size of the colloidal particle is in the range of 10 to 9 meters to 10 to 6 meters question number 11 cloud is an example of option A liquid dispersed in a gas option B solid dispersed in a gas option C liquid dispersed in a solid option D Solid dispersed in a solid. The correct answer is Option A. Liquid dispersed in a gas. Cloud represents water drops suspended in air. Question number 12. Which of the following apparatus is not required in sublime? O. Option A. China dish. Option B. Condenser. Option C. Funnel. Option D. Wire gauze. The correct answer is Option B. Condenser. Condenser is required in distillation. It is not required in sublimation. Question number 13. Which of the following is not a pure substance? Option A. Mercury. Option B. Distilled water. Option C. Tap water. Option D. Diamond. The correct answer is Option C. Tap water. Tap water is a mixture of dissolved salts and other impurities. Hence, it is not a pure substance. Question number 14. A solution in which no more solute can be dissolved at a given temperature is known as Option A. Dilute solution. Option B. True solution. Option C. Saturated solution. Option D. Unsaturated solution. The correct answer is Option C. Saturated solution. When no more solute can be dissolved in a solution at a given temperature, it is called a saturated solution. Question number 15. Which of the following colloids is a gel? Option A. Cheese. Option B. Blood. Option C. Smoke. Option D. Fog. The correct answer is Option A. Cheese. Gels are colloids in which there is a continuous network of solid particles dispersed in a liquid. Question number 16. When evaporation of ink is carried out, water evaporates from the ink leaving behind the solid dye component in the evaporating dish. This proves that. Option A. Ink is a liquid. Option B. Ink is a pure substance. Option C. Ink is a mixture. Option D. Ink is colored. The correct answer is Option C. Ink is a mixture. Since water is evaporated leaving behind solid dye components, it proves that ink is a mixture of water and dye components. Question number 17. Which one of the following statements is incorrect regarding different separation techniques? Option A. Churning technique is used for separating cream from milk. Option B. Chromatography is used to separate dyes and pigments. Option C. Evaporation is used to separate components of chlorophyll. Option D. 
The process of evaporation is used on a large scale to obtain common salt from sea water. The correct answer is Option C. Evaporation is used to separate components of chlorophyll. The statement of option B is false because components of chlorophyll are separated by chromatography. Question number 18. The interconversion of states of matter is Option A. A physical change. Option B. A chemical change. Option C. Always an irreversible change. Option D. Not a change. The correct answer is Option A. A physical change. The interconversion of states is a physical change because these changes occur without a change in the composition and no change in the chemical nature of the substance. Question number 19. What is the use of sedimentation tank in water purification system? Option A. To separate out the insoluble substances from water. Option B. To separate out very small suspended particles from water. Option C. To kill the germs present in water. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is Option A. To separate out the insoluble substances from water, water from a river or lake is pumped by the pumping station into a large reservoir called sedimentation tank. Water is allowed to stand in it for some time. As a result, Many of the insoluble substances settle down at the bottom and are separated. Question number 20. How can we obtain different gases from air? Option A. By fractional distillation. Option B. By simple distillation. Option C. By using a separating funnel. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is Option A. By fractional distillation, we can obtain different gases from air by fractional distillation of liquid air. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.